Yo, 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 it's John Man T with Twist Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones. Loud and clear for the people in the background. Training camp is six days away. Hold on. We got the spice to talk about. Did y'all see Cal Pitch video? Let me know in the comments. Hold on, let, let me get to it. Let me get to it. I'm sorry, my bad. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, keep going the algorithm. Appreciate all support. If you'd like to donate, hit up my cash app, Twitch Tours TV. Also hit up the merch, Twitch Tours TV, the website. You know, all the support we appreciate. But did y'all see Kyle Pitts? Hold up, hold up. The, the boy is back. Mm hmm? Two years coming off the MCL, played the whole last year. Um, shown traits of that he's getting back to himself towards the end of that year. Man, Kyle Pitts looks fast, guys. He's in a he's a receiver in a tight end body. <laughs> if the uh, the Falcons offensive coordinator Robinson said that they're planning to use Kyle Pitts as a receiver and a tight end. Um, I noticed the numbers uh, for last year. We didn't use him as much, twenty two percent as a tight end, sitting at tight end, um, over thirty percent out wide, and over about thirty five percent in the slot. So imagine using him a lot more in the slot. Now. Having him play against linebackers, um, slot corners too small, linebackers too slow, safeties might be able to tackle, but can they stick with him on those deep type routes? He's out there with Calvin Ridley. He's out there with my boy from uh, Steelers, my boy Pickens. And he looks like he can hang. Those are receivers, guys. Huh? Let me go in the chat. He's back. We're looking to get him potentially to that. Uh, Florida, how they were using them to 10 touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, potentially how Matt Ryan was using them in, in week uh, year one when he had over 1,000 yards on 68 receptions, 110 targets. We're looking to get that type of production. Um, if you can bring Kyle Pitts back to that element, what can it do? It opens up the offense, and that's why they're stating he's going to be a focal point. That's why they're stating they're going to use him as a tight end and receiver. That means he's going to be motioning all over the formation. He's going to try to get favorable matchups. To eat. This will be asked for. Uh, we're not going back forward. We're going forward. Uh, we got Kirk Cousins, as we said. He's known for throwing to tight ends, throwing in the slot type of routes. I want to see Cal Pitts downfield, guys. That's why he was drafted so high at four, uh, four years ago. This is your money-making season, Cal Pitts. You're coming back from injury. We got to see you cook. Respectfully, we got to see you cook. Um, we added speed around you, so essentially we can make you that big body tight end slash receiver. And um, rookie year, where we're not saying that he's top five tight ends, guys, right? Um, I think he's still top 15, top 10, um, but we got to see that production coming back from that MCL injury. There's no doubt in my mind, healthy Cal Pitts is going to give us production. Because even seeing him <laughs> the first couple weeks in uh, last year, Hobbling, he's still getting open. <laughs> so it was just, he didn't reach that that last gear. You know how Hulu used to say, like, a Ferrari, the, uh, Deshaun Jackson, Ferrari. You got to sit out sometimes. You got to get right. And we didn't see him, man, especially when we added B. John. We had that two-headed monster with Tyler Algier and B. John back there. Cal Pitts, this is your year. You got Drake London. You have that QB. You have a great offensive line. I got to see you work. And now with this, uh, Robinson making you the focal point with Raheem Morris and stating, hey, we got to get this guy the ball. I expect that. Uh, targets, especially in the red zone. When we get to that 20 yard line, there's no sub it out. Sub in. <laughs> Stay in all three plays, respectfully, because he's a mismatch. When Kyle puts in the game, we don't know what we're going to run. Y'all say he can't block shit. I've seen him block a couple times this year, so I need to see that. We have to keep him on the field, guys, to, to leave these uh, defensive coordinators guessing. So, Look up for that. Um, with 23, 53 receptions on 90 targets. 90 freaking targets as your number one? Come on, this is crazy. He needs 115 freaking targets, 120 targets, like 130, respectfully. And um, I know we run the ball a lot, but hell, it was eight, nine man boxes. So, hey, hey, give it to him. <laughs> I'm cooking. Hold on, respectfully, let me turn it on. Give it to him. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, what's going on, champ? We not doing that. Respectfully. I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, you look at Cal Pitch. Look at what he's going to do. His dynamic. Let's bring him into the fold, guys. Let's see what he has in year four. Um, potentially, we got to pay him, right? So, 
I didn't know what he knew. I know y'all, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that. The fifth year option was picked up. But what can Kyle Pitts do? 2021, fourth pick in round one. This guy's 23 years old, 6'6, 240. Come on. <laughs> all, all of our weapons are young. So hey, let's let's see them work, guys. Uh, appreciate all the support as always. Training camp July 24th. Let me know in the chat who's going to the uh, open training camp practices. I'm going to the Michael on birthday August 7th. So you know I will be at the Ben Stadium. I'm looking at the one in Buford uh, the week before that. Might take that one out, so I think that's the next week or so. We can see what's up. But let me know in the chat how y'all feel about that in the comments, man. Appreciate all the support. Jumpman T.